Welcome to Intello Videos. Normalized signals is very important in electrochemistry because the current which is measured is proportional to the size or mass of your working electrode. It's easier to compare data with different groups and publications when they are using different working electrode areas and plot the data with respect to current density. The current density is the current divided by the area or mass of the working electrode. It is also important to plot the normalized signals, current density data with respect to the applied potential for easy comparison with published data. In this Intello 1.4 version, it is also possible to set rules for the normalized signals. In this example, when you want to stop the procedure if the current density reaches 1 mA per square centimeters. Two other examples are during electrodeposition when you want to stop the deposition if the charge per square meter reaches a certain value, or in electrocatalysis if you want to run a linear sweep fault temperature up to a certain current density for making a table plot. This can all be programmed in the rule section of the measurement command. The normalized signals are enabled in the procedure tile in the sequence. The signals which could be normalized are the current, the charge, and power. These signals are sampled in the measurement command. The normalized signal could be toggled off or on. When the normalized signals option is enabled in the procedure tile, by default the use of normalized signals is also enabled in the create new plot option, which means that you will see the measured current density with respect to the applied potential when you create a new plot. The user can still plot the measured current versus the applied potential. Both plots will be visible in real time. Welcome to the Intello software. To describe the situation, we have a Vionic connected to an electrochemical cell with a platinum disc working electrode of 3 mm in diameter. In a uh, ferroferry solution, a platinum sheet counter electrode and a silver silver chloride reference electrode. We use the standard CV staircase potentiostatic procedure from the Metro Autolab library and we load it in our work system. So we have our procedures, the Autolab library, you will find CV staircase potentiostatic. Double click on it and it's loaded in our work system 483. We change some parameters. First vertex to 0 0.8 second vertex to minus 0 0.4, number of cycles 1, and we take 200 millivolt a second. When you look at the sequence of the procedure, it's applying settings commands, this one here, and the CV staircase, staircase command. When you want to measure the current density at the working electrode, you have to enable it in the procedure tile. So in the procedure tile, double click, and in the options you will find enable normalized signals. And you can normalize on service area or on mass. In this case we, case, we do the current density, so we have to normalize it on the service area. You can fill in the unit square millimeter and if you have a three millimeter disc electrode then the surface area is 7.07 .07 square millimeter this value you can link to the main parameters and then if your electrode size is changing you can just modify it in the main parameters and start the measurement again Now we go to the CV staircase command, this one here. In the signal type of the CV staircase command, you can see the normalized current, which is already enabled in the signal sampler. You can also do this for the charge and the normalized charge with respect to the surface area 
is enabled automatically. You can also deselect it and deselect everything. But we're only interested at the current at the moment and we want to measure the current density. In the CV staircase command, you also see the rules. And you can add a rule. For example, if the current density becomes higher than a certain limit, you can select a signal, normalize current when the current density becomes bigger than a certain value. What has the software needs to do? Stop the procedure or stop the command. So we can fill in, let's say, 40 amps per square meter or depends a little bit on what you want to define, four milliamp per square centimeter, and so on and so on. So here you define what the limits are of the current density and what the software needs to do. But we don't do this at the moment. So we have the current and the normalized current. In terms of plotting, the standard plot is I versus E. Then you have the current versus the pot applied potential, but if you drag and drop the CV staircase in the plot ribbon, you will use the normalized signals. You can create, and in here you will find normalized current amps per square meter. Yeah, so this is my current density. We start a procedure, five seconds of stabilization time, and then the measurement starts. You'll see the same type of plot, but different value for the y-axis. If you open the plot, you can export these values. So you go to the export file or the data file where you have the current density in here. And this you can export in an Excel sheet, for example. Save as CV staircase. Show in the folder. And in here, you'll see the raw data files appearing with the header. What we can also do is change the y-axis to a different value, for example, milliamps per square, square centimeter. Then you have it in milliamps per square centimeter. You can also drag and drop on top of each other to overlay. And then it's actually the same data with different y-axis. And here you can see that they're same data, but with different y-axis and also different values. Left, you have the current and right, you have the current density. Thank you for watching Intello videos. If you found this Intello video helpful, please like and share with your colleagues. You can subscribe to the Metrum Autlab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.